TFNN Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday, three hours left to go in the trading day. And we got markets pairing some of the gains we had earlier, still in positive territory. Right now, S&P's up 15 points, trading at 31.58. That's right where we were for an all-time high, folks. Prior to today, we've been as high as, I think, 31.75 in that S&P's. NASDAQ trading up 27 points at 86.81. Dow Jones up 123 points, trading 28,035. We have the Dow up almost 300 points early in the day. We'll jump over to the charts in a moment. Notes and bonds, quite a move. Lower price, higher yield. The 10-year off 26 ticks, 128.15. The 30-year off a full two points and two ticks at 156.27. And the dollar index up 310 ticks at 97.438. We'll start things off. And we're going to start it off with the tweet that started it all this morning. President Trump coming out there and saying that they are very, quote unquote, we'll wait for that to load, capital letters, very close to a big deal with China. They want it, and so do we. The market, for some reason, taking those words and running with them. Lots going on in the market, folks. The charts struggling a bit to keep up. Big day, of course. But you'll see when we get over here. Quite a spike in the market. That tweet coming out at 9.35 a.m. Eastern Time. We'll jump over to the NASDAQ 100. There is a run in the NASDAQ 100. We go from 83.82, almost touch 8,500, get up there to 84.96. We've now paired 66 NASDAQ 100 points. We made it all the way down to almost 8,400. That's 100 points almost from high to low in the NASDAQ 100, currently trading 84.28. S&P 500, much the same. 31, 39, before that tweet, we trade up to an all-time high of 31.77. Thought it was 31.75, actually a couple points higher. But check it out. We're 20 points, 20 S&P points off of that high right now. Gold contract with some volatility as well. We were above 14.90, right at 9.15. You trade all the way down to 14.69 on that news. Gold trading at 14.72. What other news you have out there? Got, getting lost in the shuffle. There is so much going on. We'll see if that chart loads, the page loads. Weekly jobless claims, 252,000. The highest reading since September of 2017. And of course, what else do we have going on today? There is a vote going on in the UK that has Brexit implications. Those polls close at 10 p.m. UK time, 5 p.m. Eastern time, U.S. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Tom O'Brien, all